Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Rigid here of Mach 4 Gaming, and today I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 free for all on lockdown. Um, I'm using the gold PP90 with extended mags and silencer, so I have the attachments proficiency. My perks are Sleight of Hand Pro, Assassin Pro, and Steady Aim Pro, and I'm using the specialist package with the bonuses of scavenger, quick draw, and dead silence. Now I'm going to spoil it for you guys, I don't actually end up winning this free for all. Um, I do get second place and a really good score, but I don't actually win and there's a few reasons for that. I get uh, kind of bullshitted out of a few kills, like at one point I'm shooting at a guy and he just disconnects and I die a couple times short of the uh, specialist bonus thing where you get uh, all the perks. But it was just a bit unfortunate, but like I said I get a really good score so I'm happy with it. Now, uh, as you see, I'm using a gold gun, and I wanted to use this commentary to kind of give you guys tips on how to get gold guns easily. So I guess I'll jump right into that right away. And so, as you know, there are weapon levels for each, each weapon, and the way you get a gold gun is by reaching weapon level 31. And every weapon you have to use uh, to get weapon XP, and for the levels 1 through 30, you need about 45,000 XP to get to level 30 and then from level 30 to 31 it's another 45,000 XP so to actually get the gold gun from level 30 to 31 you have to use the gun a lot now the way uh, the XP system for guns works is for every kill you get you get a hundred weapon XP now it doesn't matter if you're playing search and one kill is worth 500 XP your gun itself will actually only gain 100 XP per kill no matter what game type. There are other ways to get uh, little bonuses such as headshots will double it and if you get uh, little accolades like buzzkill or comeback or other things like that it'll add 100 XP more to your for your weapon XP. Now um, what I find doing really well that helps is playing a game type where you can get a lot of kills because like I just said the easiest way to level up is to get the kills because your gun the only way you can earn XP is either by getting kills or by doing weapon challenges and what weapon challenges are is if you go into your challenges in your barracks and then you go under either primary weapon or whatever you'll have a whole list of challenges. Some that you do is just get X amount of kills or you can actually do uh, attachment challenges. So for example if you have a red dot site unlocked there might be a challenge for get 60 kills while looking through the red dot site and that'll give you 5000 weapon XP. Now this I find helps level up your weapon a lot faster and it's, it's really efficient too. And um, the way that I would go about using the weapon attachments is using the attachments proficiency like I'm doing in this game like I have silencer and extended mags so if I didn't have the challenges already complete I would be using two attachments at once and it would help me get the uh, challenges done a lot quicker and uh, yeah that's pretty much the main way to get a gold gun you just have to reach level 31 it does take a really long time like I started using the PP90 right when I was level 28 and I only got the gold at like level 75 but then again, I didn't always use that gun every match. I did try to switch it up a little and use other guns, but that's besides the fact. It's just a really long process, and it's worth it. The gold guns, they look really cool. Not as nice as in Black Ops, I find, but they're still they're really cool. And, uh, yeah, there's not a lot else I want to mention about the uh, weapon XP and getting gold guns. I just want to talk a little bit about free-for-all and my opinions on it, because... I am really not a free-for-all player. I'm more of a team-based player. I play a lot of team deathmatch, domination, kill confirm, demolition, just all the team-based games. And uh, this is probably the third free-for-all I ever played on Modern Warfare 3. I was just playing some team deathmatch and I was like, you know, I'm getting bored of this. And instead of turning it off, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to jump on a game of free-for-all. And this was the first game I played. So I was like, you know what, this is a pretty good gameplay. I don't win. I get a good score. And I figured it was upload worthy and uh, free-for-all in Modern Warfare 3 is really bad as far as the spawn system is concerned because they have this revenge spawn system where every time someone dies or whatever they always want to put him close to someone else to keep him in the action and that's the one part of Modern Warfare 3 that's not so good in my opinion 
but it keeps the game action packed and uh, you're always in the action like I just said so it's not that bad you can really deal with it but other than that guys this gameplay is pretty close to done so I'm just gonna say uh, I hope you guys saw my mob gameplay with the spaz 12 I pretty much beast moded it that game so I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video Anyways guys, I'm going to thank you for watching right now. Final score is 25 and 4 with the PP90 gold. And uh, other than that guys, this has been Rigid of Mach 4 Gaming signing off. Take care guys.